Hey, what's up, YouTube? Kevin Packpacker with Pack for Travel. And we're back again in my simulator, and I got an upgrade for us for the channel. Um, I'm hoping this would really help us with our production value, and um, I'm gonna use it a lot for my golfing vlog that I'm starting, and a lot for uh, when we go traveling. Um, I'll be able to use all this. So this is the old Sony A6300, still relevant now in 2018. It is July 24th right now, 2018. And I think that out of all the research that I did on YouTube, that this camera uh, and its capabilities uh, will do absolutely everything I want it to do. I've seen so many videos of the reviews of them and there's a lot of unboxings but I figure I do my own unboxing you know I've done the unboxing for my Giga Golf things so I'm gonna unbox this and I'm gonna use it for the channel and upcoming things and I have some really cool plans so I'm gonna use the old I'm shooting right now on a GoPro Hero 5 session um, and all my videos previous to this um, the Kawhi video my Palm Springs video everything is shot on this GoPro and I think that um, coupled with this new A6300, and I'm gonna couple it with this, uh, with the GoPro Hero 5 session. Um, it's, gonna make, uh, it's gonna make the videos look really good. So let's just dive right into it. Um, I got a couple things. This, uh, so this is the camera set that I got. I got it from Focus Camera. I'll tell you a little bit about price later after I unbox everything, and this is a Movo mic that I'll be able, we'll be able to use, so. Let's do it. Let's get right into it. Okay, this is the big one. Let's just do this is the this is a tripod that came with the bundle that I got. And I did a lot of extensive research. Whenever I buy something on YouTube, or I whenever I buy something online, I usually do a lot of research on YouTube. I would assume as m most of you guys do as well. And um this was probably the best deal that I saw. I was looking at eBay used items. This is actually a brand new item. This is just the Dolica, Dolica, 62 inch tripod that comes with it. Very nice. I was watching some reviews on this. This is uh, rated one of the best, uh, probably around and under $50 tripods. So that's cool. And the big boy, let's see. All right, come on, there we go. Let's put that to the side there, can you still see that? Yeah, okay. It's like Christmas, you know, every time you open this stuff up. Ooh. Photo video backpack from Vivitar. Pretty cool. Put that there. A 64 gig Extreme Pro SanDisk card. The Sony A6300. And it came with a 55 to 210. Uh, this is also a, I don't know if it's a kit lens. There, it comes with two lenses. That's why I bought this thing. It, ha it has the 16 to, what is it? 16 to 50 um, OSS kit lens. And it came with a 55 to 210. I, I don't know if it's a kit lens, but I don't really know too much about lenses. So I'm, I'm learning as I go. Some ND filters. It has a UV, a CPL, and an FLD. I'm not sure what an FLD is, but um, UV is ultraviolet, and CPL is, I don't know. You guys would have to help me with that. I don't know how to use that. And this is, this is the Wasabi power source charger, two batteries. And this one comes with one battery, so I now have three batteries, which is great. Charger, dual charger for these. Lay everything out here. All right, and last piece. This is the Movo mic. Did a lot of research. I was looking at the Rode, that cheapest Rode mic they have for like uh, 60 bucks, and they compared it to 
this guy here. And I apparently this one was the winner. It sounded great, and it was like 20 bucks cheaper. So this is the Movo VXR 10GY. Just Movo. It's like one of the cheapest Movos they have, but it's the best one for it. So, here we go. That's it. Um, I want to set up the camera right now, so I'm going to try to frame the shot exactly so you can kind of see. And the audio, so this is just on the GoPro Hero 5 session. I'm going to put this all together, uh, charge up the batteries, and try to get the same shot. So, it's, you know, to the end here and to the end here. And um, I'm going to attach the mic, and I want to see what the video quality difference is and um, if this is something that you guys would be interested in. Now, since I have everything out, I'm, let's talk about pricing, what I got all this stuff for. So, at time of recording, July 24th, 2018, I purchased this whole bundle from Focus Camera. Uh, on their website, it was $11.48. And I noticed there was a discrepancy because when I would search, it would go into the, it would, in the initial um, search, Thing when you're looking at the bundles, it said 1,048, and then when you click it to add to cart, it said 1,148. So when I, I ended up calling Focus Camera, I got the, uh, one of the guys online, and he mentioned that, oh, that was probably a product code, and it happened with all the other bundles, but he ended up giving it to me for $1,048. So kudos to you, Focus Camera, for doing that. That's really cool. Um, if, you, if any of you guys have been doing any type of research at all for this camera, um, even right now, at time of recording, this, the, just this alone with, and this one has the kit lens in it, um, the, um, the, uh, the body itself is only, is about eight, nine hundred dollars just by itself. If you buy just this, the kit, with the lens, not even with any of these other accessories, it'd probably be a little over a thousand dollars. So I think I got a really good deal. And plus this mic here. I bought it for $47, $47 after tax or $57, something like that. I don't remember. Um, but it was, it was cheaper than the Rode mic, and um, apparently this one's better. So let's go see if it is or not. Um, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let me open this up. Let's open up the, the main camera and see. We have, of course, all the literature on it. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, get this too. All the videos I've seen, everyone has the black one. Boring. I don't like that. I want to be a little different. Got the silver one. Wow. I, able, I was able to go and actually hold this and play with it at our local camera store BNC here in Las Vegas and it was the black one and um, you know I was playing with all the little things and I'm actually really impressed at how pretty this is. Look at how, look at that silver. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see that here. Let me see if you guys can. It's kind of hard because of the lighting. I have to move the light but Oh yeah, beautiful camera. Bring this here. So I read a lot about um, some of the downfalls of this thing. Um, I don't really anticipate on recording longer than like 15 or 20 minutes. That's really long. Um, especially for a vlog and um, for the golf vlog that I'm trying to do, I'm going to do like a shot by shot kind of thing. Um, the only thing that worries me is uh, I had a hard enough time setting this all up. Um, if you guys notice my other unboxing video, I'm facing towards my screen. This one I kind of figured this is a little bit nicer, you know, you can tell that we're a golf channel. Um, but uh, you know, you have that the pop out screen that you can't see. You can always do the external screen. I might have to do that, get a rig for it and everything, but I mean, all in all, this is pretty, pretty sweet, pretty impressive. So, 
I don't have to go through all the little intricacies. There's so many unboxing videos about that you guys can go take a look at. Just wanted to give you a little um, insight on, you know, what I did and how I spent my money. Um, but I think, actually, the, the best takeaway from all this is the, the actual bundle that I got. You know, I guess it just depends on what you're looking for. I'm going to use this for vlogs and, you know, travel shooting. So I need, I don't have a tripod. I needed a tripod. I don't have a carrying case. I have some old carrying cases from Focus camera and um, they're not that cool. This one is supposedly pretty cool. It's actually, matter of fact, let's open it up right now. Here, so this, just leave that there. Let's open this up and take a look. And just rip it. light oh yeah look at that put all your lenses in there and yeah, let's open up the lens so 55 to 210 it's gonna be a really big change for me going from a GoPro that I have pretty much maxed out I'm shooting right now I think at 2.7 K um, I have it on uh, uh, ProTune I think that's what it's called the color so I can I can color grade and post there's so many other options like you don't really have you have ISO settings and everything like that but not as much as this new camera is going to have oh wow look at this baby I got the silver one too so heh, hey everything's matching so that's cool you know you just put your lenses in there lens hood just put that in there I could probably put I could probably put the Mavic in here I have a Mavic Pro, if you guys didn't know that already. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me go grab it and see if we can put everything in here. And this will be my new... So whenever we're traveling... Oops. Whenever we're traveling, um, this will be my new backpack. Look how small it is. Yeah, let me see if the Mavic Pro fits in here. Hold on. Be right back. Okay. My Mavic. Here. Let's see if it fits in this thing. So, uh, I don't know if I posted it yet, but uh, I ended up crashing this on one of my golf uh, videos. So stay tuned, take a look at that. That was fun. This thing's a champ though. I think I just, I hit one of the, the rotors and uh, it chipped one of the rotors. So I went to uh, camera store and I bought some the low noise the 830 8331 uh, low noise ones from the platinum and let's see so that can go here controller two batteries iPhone yeah I'm sure you can get this all to fit Placement rotors, which kind of suck because then now I don't, I can't use my Polar Pro thing. Let's get the camera. Let's put the camera down here in the middle. Hey, look at that. I could probably fit more stuff in here too. Pretty heavy. Not bad, considering it has all my, all the equipment I would need for travel. Wow, this is, oh look, it's got a side thing for the tripod probably. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this for sure. And yeah, that's what it's for. You got, you could put your uh, tripod on the side and, what is that, like a water bottle? Maybe a water bottle and everything, so, cool! Excellent. So this was definitely a good buy. Um, definitely recommend them. So if you're looking for a Sony A6300 uh, and you want to spend right around $1,000, I guess there's some under, other bundles that would be helpful. 
um, to you. You know, this one I thought was the best one. There's one other one that I was really interested in. It had a Rode mic in it, but of course, I did the research. That one is better. And uh, it's not really worth the price, but this one you get everything. You get, you know, you have UV filters. You got two lenses, a um, 64 gig card. I don't need to go buy anything else. This is all, it's all here for me. So let me rig this up, and again, let me try to get the same shot as I am now. And uh, you guys can hear the audio from the GoPro, and let's see if it improves with the A6300. So talk to you in a second. Okay, so now we are on the Sony A6300, and I I can't see anything right now. I have to I'll check it in post when I do my processing. But um, hopefully the audio is a lot better. Uh, the I didn't do anything uh, to the camera. I didn't even change the ISO. Um, I just changed, I just put it on to video mode, and um, it looked pretty good when I was back there. I have to play with all the settings. For, um, to see what the optimum settings are. And um, so, here we go. So here's the old rig, the just the simple GoPro Hero 5 session that I was shooting with. And now it's the A6300. So uh, I, hopefully it looks pretty good. Um, it looks really cool. It's on the tripod. It's got the, um, the Movo mic on it with the dead cat on it. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to do an unboxing of the voice caddy. I'm going to do it on the 6300. Boom, there we go. Swing Caddy, portable launch monitor, SC200. So it tells you your carry distance, swing speed, ball speed, and smash factor. And you can customize the loft angle to the exact clubs that you have. So if you know your lofts on your clubs, um, everyone's different. Uh, each club manufacturer is different for the degrees, especially nowadays a lot of the clubs are a lot stronger lofted. Um, and since I'm using the Giga Golf blades, um, it might be different than, you know, maybe some of the tailor-maids or Titleists or whatever. So let's, uh, let's see what else comes in this. A little literature. We'll go through all that later and uh, here it is swing caddy it's about the size about the size of an iPhone this is the iPhone 7 so it's smaller than that my cat's about to jump on <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him you probably can come on let's go out of there. Come on. Just, yep. Just don't hit the camera. Oh God. He's going to hit the camera. So you put this behind your ball about three or four feet. Got a little remote here. You can put uh, which iron you have. Um, I guess you can change everything on here. Total carry, loft angle, all that stuff. So We'll try it out on the range tomorrow and uh, see what happens. So the, my thought process is I don't have my, my um, the uh, GoPro, but I'm going to use the new Sony a6300 to film me hitting. And simultaneously, I'm going to put the GoPro in front here and I'll put a split screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. So when I hit in real time, it'll spit out all the information from here and you'll be able to see. And I'm trying to figure out a way to do a ball tracker. Um, I, hopefully I can do it in post editing and maybe like, you know, do something to that effect. But we'll see what happens. Um, but this is will be pretty fun. Pretty cool, um, pretty cool addition to, you know, the channel. And hopefully it'll give us a lot more information and hopefully produce results, you know. Trying to get down to, my goal is to get down to less than a 10 handicap. I'm at a 12.6 right now. Um, and hopefully get down below 10. But the first goal is to break 80. I'm so close. And when I play well, I know I can score probably in the 80s, low 80s. My lowest score right now is about 81 or 82. It's one of those. I think it was 81 at Rhodes Ranch. Um, and that's pretty much my home course, but we're playing Bears Best tomorrow. This is pretty cool. Um, 
And then you know what I wanted to do is I wanted to check this against my simulator in the garage. I, I don't know if this will work indoors. Um, I guess maybe some of you might have an, some questions whether this would work indoors. Um, supposedly it says it's supposed to have a couple feet in front of it for the ball to travel, but I'll put that to the test and we'll check it out. So see you guys on the golf course tomorrow. And um, I'll see uh, what that video looks like and um, put it all together for you. You'll see that in the next video that I upload. And um, if you guys haven't already, uh, hit the like button if you like this uh, video. Smash that uh, subscribe button. I'm trying to grow the channel to, we have about five subscribers right now. If we can get up to 10 or, you know, my goal is probably to 50 and then obviously to 100 and then to 1,000. Uh, I'd like to uh, just keep providing you guys with great content and we'll see where this goes. You know, I'm kind of excited. I know a lot of you guys, uh, I mean, I'm just starting off and um, I'm hoping, you know, having better production value, having better cameras and more content for people that are interested in golf like I am. I love golf, if you guys haven't <laughs> figured out from my channel. So keep watching. I have a lot of more videos coming up and I think you guys really like what I'm going to do with this and the new 6300. Thanks for watching guys. I'll uh, put some more video of me hitting uh, with what I was talking about with the setup and uh, let's see how it goes. Oh. All right, I think I got it to work. Let's try it. Fifty-six degrees.